All right, so here's the final product. I'll probably get a little Sharpie and color in that. A little bit of metal showing right there, but other than that, looks pretty good. So I finished with that Pioneer. I got the Bluetooth mic up on top. And then I converted that six disc changer down into a nice little pocket. So a few notes, I would make sure that you leave enough of the black hanging down right here in the front and on the sides to make up for the little slight gap that's right here. But if it hangs down, it actually fills it in. So it actually, you almost can't even see it. So it looks really good. I also don't think I would spray paint it again because I covered every square inch. So spray painting it was a waste of time and a waste of money, but whatever. So it looks nice. Good luck. I had a few of you guys ask me how you even get into this bottom part. It's pretty easy. I'm not gonna do it in this video because I need two hands, but basically there is a clip here, and a clip here, and a clip here, and a clip here. And they're just those kind that push in, so just kind of grab it right here and just pull it towards you. Oh look, the whole thing came off one-handed. So those are the clips. And it just pulls off. But on these older ones, in order to get this out, you actually have to pull out this piece. I think on the newer ones they made it so that you can get this pocket out without removing this piece. But on this one you have to remove it so you have to this is very similar it has just a clip here clip here clip here clip here and you just kind of grab the whole thing and just pop it up and then it kind of just comes out <clears throat> nothing too crazy and then once you've gotten it out in order to get out these pockets they have these clips on the side right here you just push them down and that will and kind of pull it and then you do the same thing on this side it has the same little clip right there just kind of push it down and you just kind of grab the whole thing and it just kind of slides out and then to actually get into it to get all the the guts out of that CD changer you know I kind of was just making it up as I went and I just started taking screws out until I had taken out maybe like 30 <laughs> kind of just taking it off piece by piece and then eventually there was something kind of on the sides I can't recall that uh Eventually, kind of that whole middle part just slid out. So I can't really help you there. I just know it wasn't very hard. I would just get a screwdriver and sit down with it and take out screws until it until it slides out. <clears throat> and then after that, you can go through and look at the the videos I made that kind of explain you know where to go from there. In my videos, I I spray painted it, but I erased that video. So my box will become black at some point. But uh, you don't need to spray paint yours because, as you can tell. All the spray painted parts get hidden, so I would not waste my time or money spray painting. All right, so everybody who has one of these 2001 to about 2006 GMC Yukons or Chevy Suburbans or Cadillac Escalades, on the fancier versions they have this six disc CD changer down on the bottom of the dash, and as you as a vehicle ages, you might want to upgrade it. <clears throat> But as I found out, basically no company makes a pocket that you can put in there once you replace your factory deck and put in something nice. So you're kind of stuck with this ugly six disc changer down there taking up space. And there literally is not a single company that makes um, a pocket for that, that fits that size. A lot of companies think that their cassette tape fits that same space. <clears throat> there were some GM vehicles that had a cassette tape down there um, but it's not the same size this is about the size of one din with a standard sort of early 2000s chevy mounting clips <clears throat> so basically you can't find a pocket so what i did is i tore apart my six disc changer that would be it right here and i pulled all these guts out of it tore it apart and pulled it out which left me with basically just the you know the box take and it back in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it with some of this 
fun. You get it like a craft store. I don't know, like an eighth of an inch foam, something. Um, and then what's the felt? So this is just a sheet of felt paper. It was like 89 cents. And I'm going to basically put that foam in the bottom of here so that it doesn't clank when I put stuff in there. But I'm going to line the entire inside of this box with foam. I'm going to use the <clears throat> E6000 glue, which is good on basically everything. And then I'm just going to put this box right back into the dash as my pocket um, using these some assortment of this to create that. So The bottom of that CD changer is 7 inches by 7 inches. So I went ahead and measured seven inches by seven inches, and then I got a razor blade, and I cut this on a cutting board seven inches by seven inches, and that will be the base or the bottom of the pocket. So it looks like this fits perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that into place. So I went ahead and installed this just like this, just with that foam pad on it. And I didn't really like it. I, I thought I would like the gray, but it just kind of looks a little bit cheap. And because it's gray, and there's a slight gap between this and the dash, you can actually see the black gap. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this felt on there. It's just a, a sheet of black felt. And I'm just going to lay it across here, and I'm just going to glue it on the bottom. So all this, and then once that's glued, I'll go ahead and glue these sides up like that. And then I will have to do something tricky on the front here to get it to go down. I'll probably have to cut these corners or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But for now, I'm just going to glue these corners in and get a nice black felt lining in there. All right, so I got that gluing right now. I think what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting is I'm gonna go back here to this back part, and I think I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna cut that out with a razor blade and make a little notch so that I can put a cord through there. And then when I install this back in, before I close everything up, I'll run a little iPhone charging cable through there and then run it through the center console and then plug it into the cigarette lighter that's inside of the console below the driver's arm. That way my phone can charge and there won't be any cables hanging out except for, you know, it'll come out of the front here where I'll just plug my phone in and the phone will just sit there. But that way when it's not using it, it can just sit down in this glove compartment or in this little pocket and there won't be a cable on top of the dash anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that little notch right back there now. So that glue's about dry. I'm not really sure how to handle this front part because I know that it needs to wrap around that. Otherwise it'll look stupid in the dash because it sits, without that changer plate on there, it sits about, I don't know, half a centimeter back. So if there's a gap along the bottom, you will be able to see it. So I'm thinking in order to help solve that problem, I might make this bottom a little more puffy with that velvet so it kind of sticks a little further forward. <clears throat> but in any case, I'm going to go ahead and cut back all that extra velvet paper until it's maybe one centimeter and, you know, just barely enough to wrap around that metal lip. Um, Cause that's really all I need anyway and it might be easier to manipulate if I don't have all this excess on the end so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this back so there's just about a centimeter sticking out the end all right so I went ahead and I cut that the end of that back so it just has about a centimeter maybe a little more overhanging and so I'm gonna fold this over and then these corners but then it leaves or the sides, but then it leaves that corner exposed. So I cut out these little these little corners and I'm gonna glue them on first, like, like that. 
then you won't be able to see those gray corners. So just kind of making this up as I go. I'm sure as you guys see my trial and error, you'll be able to make some improvements. All right, so I glued the front and there's my little pieces there on the end that will cover up the, the corners once I have it installed. So I glued that front part down and I left a little bit hanging like that because I remember when I had it installed when I was just trying it out <clears throat> it was it looked like it was a little bit too short for the um, for the dash like it looked like there was a little gap between this and the and the open space below it so I think I'm going to leave that bottom flap hanging down a little bit so it makes it look thicker so that when it's sitting in the in the truck it will have a it won't look like there's a, da a gap, but it'll look sort of more professional. So I went ahead, the sides are gluing right now. Once those are done, I'll figure out some way to fold those tops down or maybe I'll just cut them off. Because it doesn't really matter. Once it's inside, it's going to have the lid on top of the box and you can't really see the top anyway. So, and you can't really see the sides very well anyway either. So I'll probably just cut the top of that off so that it, you know, right across right there so that it fits and then I'll put the lid on and then um, I think we'll give it a try so looks pretty good I'm not gonna do the back because when it's in your dash you actually can't see the back unless you really get down with like a flashlight and look in there but I, I had it in there and from like where the driver or passenger sit you can only see the like right here and the rest is just down on the black anyway so I'm probably not gonna do anything on the back just because I don't want to deal with it all right, I broke down and threw a little piece of the felt across the back. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever see it, but I think it would bother me if I did. I'm kind of OCD like that. So at least like this with that lid on the top, there's no way I'll see that little gray strip on the top. Of course I say that, but I'll probably put something on there. No, I probably won't because that'll be far enough back and that piece that I put right there was just a scrap anyway, so it fit perfectly. I still have that entire other sheet sitting there, so all of this was just from that one sheet and I laid it across there so there's no creases in the corners the only real crease is right there in the back with that little piece and you know like I said I probably won't ever see it anyway but now at least if I do it looks a little better all right so everything's dry I went ahead and put the lid back on the top on it I left these these flaps on the front so it'll kind of cover any gaps I ended up not putting that top piece on, but I don't think I'll ever see it. I did put that little notch in the back so I can run a cable through. I don't have the cable with me, so I'm just going to install it as is right now. So just like the original piece, you just kind of slide it into those little, little rails. And we're back. So this bottom piece just clips in. You gotta put that piece in before you put the top piece in. And this just has four clips as well. And there is my perfect little pocket. All right, so here's the final product. I'll probably get a little Sharpie and color in that. A little bit of metal showing right there, but other than that, looks pretty good. So I finished with that Pioneer. I got the Bluetooth mic up on top. And then I converted that six disc changer down into a nice little pocket. 
So a few notes, I would make sure that you leave enough of the black hanging down right here in the front and on the sides to make up for the little slight gap that's right here. But if it hangs down, it actually fills it in. So it actually, you almost can't even see it. So it looks really good. I also don't think I would spray paint it again because I covered every square inch. So spray painting it was a waste of time and a waste of money, but whatever. So it looks nice. Good luck.